Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a custom frame for Canva. When you open your Canva, I'm going to pick Instagram post square, but you can pick whatever size suits your project best. So once your Canva is open, if you go into elements and click on frame and click on see all just so I can show you them all. These are all the standard kind of frames that Canva offers. So there's like there is lots of shapes. There is, you know, there is ones that have um, there's ones that have borders on them. There's all the letters in kind of like a few different styles and there's all kinds of numbers as well. But say you wanted to make like out of a specific shape. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get going. So the shape I'm going to pick, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways, but the first way is to use an element itself. So we'll go back into elements. We'll just click off that frame and I am going to, sorry, we're going to click on, I'm going to use a cat outline. So you're looking for an element that is a solid shape or a silhouette. So we're going to pick this cat one. It has to be a vector shape. It can't be an image. So I'll just show you the difference. Um, let me just see if I can find one. Mm, this one maybe. Yeah. So this one, the difference between this one and this black one, this one doesn't have the ability to change the color. So I can go up to this color and I can make him whatever, whatever color I want. But this one, because it's an image, you can't scale them like you can scale them. But if you scale them too enormous, they kind of get a bit blurry on the edges. You can see that kind of going there already. But it has to be a vector image. And the way you determine that is by the top here. So if it doesn't have this color option, it means that it's an image and you need to go and search a bit further. So the other thing that I just wanted to note is that if we pick, it must be a kind of free one. If it's a pro, you have to have done something to it. So I just, I just delete that one for a second. There we go, kitty outline again. And there's a pro one there. So, so although that's a very basic standard shape, if you go to export this, so we want to download it and we want a transparent background and we also want it to be an SVG. OK, so SVG is part of the pro package, but you can download Canva for free, the pro version for 30 days. So you get a 30 days trial, so um, you could you could do it that way. Otherwise, there are a few different ways that you can get Canva for free. I have a video on it that explains all of that, like if you're a student or a teacher or a not for profit. There's lots of different ways that you can you can avail of the free version. So when you click on download, if it's a if it's a profile, you get this message here. There's only one image or graphic on your design. Premium images can't be exported on their own. Add more elements and then try again. So it doesn't want you to just download this and then use it for your own benefit somewhere else. It wants you to actually design something. So <laughs> saying all that, we're not going to use a pro version. We are going to use a free version. So we're going to go here and we're just going to use recently used and we're going to use this one because he is part of Canva free. So we're just going to make them nice and big. And then once again, we're going to click on share and we're going to click on download. We want it to be a transparent background and we also want it to be, as I say, an SVG and click on download. So that was all a lot of information. But anyway, now we have our cat and we have them downloaded. So now we need to flick to another app, which I don't normally do, but this is the kind of only way that we can do this within Canva. So it's an app called Figma and Figma is free. Well, there is paid versions of it, but for this, we only need the free version. So all you need to do is to sign up using a Gmail account or, or any email that you use. So it's pretty, pretty easy. So we're going to do that now. So when you open Figma for the first time, when you've um, logged in, created an account, 
this is what you kind of met with. So this is kind of, um, they're like pre, pre-made designs that you can get going on, but we actually don't need any of them. So we're gonna go over to, over here we have like pages and layers. And on the other side, we have like colors and stuff. And then down at the bottom, we have our tools. So we go over to pages and we're just gonna add a page. So then you get this kind of blank canvas. And within the tools, so we have like a move tool, frame tool. So then the next one is a shape tool. So rectangles, it usually will be defaulted to a rectangle, but because I was using it, it has gone to image. We have pen and type and a few others, but we don't, we don't necessarily need any of them. So the one we're looking for is image within the shape tool. So when we click on the image one, we're going to look for wherever it is that you saved it. So saved your image from Canva, your vector from Canva. So um, here he is here. He's called Black Cat. And we're going to click on open. And when it comes in, it's like um, it'll have this little attachment that says SVG. So we're just going to click on it there. And we're just going to make sure that he's fine. So when you bring it in, it has all this kind of other stuff attached to it. So when you go over to layers on the left hand side, you can see you can kind of um, see where where everything is. So you can you can hide stuff and you can. You can show like which one it is. So the whole thing is the the clip path group. But we're only looking for the cat. So we're just going to click on the vector and we're going to move that vector out of that layer. We can just delete that group then. And now we just have our cat. So when you delete everything else, you just left, you just left with this vector. So then all we have to do is we go over here. So when we go over here, it's filled black 100%. And the only thing that we have to do is we need to not make it a fill of 100%. We need to make it an image. So when you click on image, it creates this checkerboard. And that is the look that we're looking for. Um, we're looking for it, it's sometimes black and white, but generally it's this gray and white. So then we click on export. And we need to make sure that the export is a PDF and then export vector. And it usually just goes to your downloads. Um, sometimes it might ask you to where do you where do you want to save it? But usually, usually it's um, it just goes straight to your downloads. So that's if you can't figure out where it is, that's where it is. So then when we come back into Canva, we're just going to click add a page and we're going to click uploads upload file and as I say it saved it in my downloads and there it is there vector one and we're just going to click on that and you can see that it's bringing it in and it's going to bring it in to a projects folder so sometimes it just brings it just shows it here in your upload files but these come in as projects. So there it is there, vector1.pdf. And we just literally click on it and just make them a little smaller. And there's two ways you can either just delete. So once you've brought it in, just delete. And then suddenly we have this lovely frame. Um, and you know it's frame because it has blue sky and green grass. Or we can right click and detach image. So it brings it in like the clip the checkerboard is an image and then we just delete that. So there is then our frame, which, oh, so simple. I think it's amazing. Um, and I know, yeah, it's probably a bit of a pain that you have to go into another program, but literally that is all that you have to do. You have to just import it. You have to, um, you have to fill it as an image and export it. Like it's only a couple of minutes that it's gonna take. So then, we can just, we could fill this with, say, um, what could we do? Night sky. Um, so we'll go photos. And then you just click as normal and put it into your, into your kitty. It's, I think it's super. So I'm just going to quickly show you, if you couldn't find 
a shape within Canva that you wanted to use. You can go back into Figma and actually draw a shape. Um, so I'll just show you how to quickly do that. So when you have Figma open again, we're just gonna we're just gonna go to a new page, and with the pen tool, you can you can click and make any kind of shape that you want. You just have to get back to the the original like star point, and then it will become like a, a total shape. So we're gonna fill it with an image. And it becomes exactly the same way, you just export it in the same way it has to be exported as a PDF. Um, so you could make a shape here, maybe you wanted to, um, maybe you found like one of the images that wasn't a vector, you could export it and bring it in and draw it around, draw around it with your pen tool. Pen tools use like Bezier curves, which can be a little... <laughs> difficult to get used to like so it's okay if you're doing like straight lines but if you want to do a curve say for example you click and hold and when you hold your anchor points come out and then you have to go back and you click on the last point that you that you went to and then click again and so you end up with like curved lines which um if you if you don't if you don't click and hold it just becomes a straight line but if you click and hold but if you don't go back to the original it just becomes another curve if that makes sense <laughs> so and you always have to come back to the original start point so when you come back to the original start point it creates this um enclosed area and then as i say we just have to fill and then when we fill, click on fill and we click on image, we have this checkerboard. So um, so then you just export that in the same way and bring it in. And then it it automatically becomes a frame within Canva. So it like it is super easy still, um, but Bezier curves can be a little irritating <laughs> to get the hang of. But once you do get the hang of it, it's amazing. And they are the same then in every graphics program, a pen tool works the same way in every graphics program. And then another one to consider is if you wanted to create text that you wanted to be a frame. So when we click on, it's really simple as well. If we click on the T for text and click anywhere on your page and say we go live. So we're just going to change that to a something a bit more scripty. Hmm. Maybe that one there. Okay, and we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So live, and then we're just gonna copy that. Live life to the max. So if we if we do the same with this, these are all then seen as different boxes. So basically what we have to do, all right, let me just make that one slightly smaller. Like it's not, like it is intuitive, but it's not as probably intuitive as, <laughs> as some other graphics programs. So, um, you know, you're used to in Canva just like grabbing the corner and making it bigger. So um, you can't you can't do that here, but you have to actually go in and change the, the font size of it. But because they're each a different text box, we have to go up to the top and we have to click on this and we need union selection. So now they're seen as one. And now when we click on fill, we click on this and we click on the image it it creates one image as opposed to you know it wouldn't it wouldn't bring them in properly if if we if we didn't do if we didn't add that union so then again we just click export pdf and export union and again it'll go to your downloads easy as that and then when you go back into Canva, you do exactly the same thing. You go click on uploads into projects and then there is your text 
So we're just going to make that slightly smaller. And we're just going to do the same, delete. And then there is our frame. And then as I say, you can add anything into that. So even if we put the night sky back into that, it, uh, it becomes a frame and you can put anything into it, any image into it. It's super easy, really quick and, um, and really effective. If you learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.